YouTube, we're building a sandbox today. So the things you will need are wood. Mine are two by eight by four. I got them at Home Depot. It comes in a 16 foot long plank and then you just have them cut it into four pieces. That's three cuts for the lumber, even with lumber prices nowadays, that only cost me just over 30 bucks for the lumber. Other things you're gonna need are eight screws, a drill, ground cloth, a staple gun, a shovel. I also used my sewing machine for this, but that's not actually necessary. This is just for the box. Um, I'll show you how I made the lid, but I'm not including that on the list supplies here. Okay, now that you have that, you wanna lay out your pieces. Let's do it. Let's drill some holes. Okay, the next thing you want to do is dig out the bottom. dug in the ground and it's how big you want it and how deep you want it it's time to move on to the next step so you're gonna want to get some ground cloth for the ground cloth um, it comes in a roll that's three feet long so I cut six foot strips of that three foot roll and I laid them next to each other so that it was three feet plus three feet by six feet so truly a square six feet by six feet and then I cut one foot from each corner and I measured that before I cut so that in between I would have four foot uh, long sections I did sew those together down the middle um, I did also I doubled up my ground cloth before cutting just so it would be more durable less likely to be ripped apart or broken by sandbox toys. Um, okay, then I sewed the corners together. Um, I tried to show this with, with squiggly lines here where everything's been sewn and then the straight lines are the folds. Um, and this is a top-down view so that it created a kind of box that I could insert into the hole that I dug under the sandbox. So now I'm going to staple this to the bottom of my frame. Like so. I'm just going to drape it over the sides for a second to get it started. I'm going to start in the center, staple that way, staple that way. Go down, do the same thing. Oh, 
All right, that part's done. It's all stapled. That went really fast. Now we're just gonna place it over this hole so that the fabric drapes into it. This is gonna need a little bit of finagling because I am not strong and I don't wanna bend the frame. Or rip the cloth. Yeah, think about that as a problem. Actually, I'm not that exhausted. My husband helped me dig out the rest of the hole because I was struggling and he's fantastic. But we have a nice deep sand box. All we need is some sand, some toys, and a happy, happy boy. probably get more sand for it later and I'm gonna mix in some cinnamon to keep bugs out but yeah all right before I finish out this video I wanted to show you something I added I didn't have time to film it uh, because there was a storm that was coming and I just needed to get the sandbox covered so this is my sandbox cover. As you can see, it kept out the water. This is an old shower curtain that I'm not using anymore. And I took a staple gun and I stapled it along that side. And then over here, let me flip the camera around. And then on this side, it's stapled to this random piece of wood I had in the garage. Um, and the wood is, I mean, obviously longer than the sandbox on both ends, but that's all right. And then I added these, uh, turn latches just like this. And what I can do is simply roll. I can roll this to the back. You might have noticed it in the last shot. And it just sits there. And then when it's time to cover the sandbox back up, I just unroll it and latch it back down. But yeah, that's my sandbox. It's obviously keeping cats and stuff out, so that's good. And it was super easy. To put on there. We did end up getting more sand. And there's the kiddo. So, yeah. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos to see what else I do to my house, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. I upload most Mondays. Don't forget to stay creative. Thanks for watching. Bye!